Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Night Setups here at MarketStream.Live. My name is Joseph Cusick from the Cusick Group, securities offered by MoneyBlock. Here to set up your week. Uh, we've had, uh, hopefully, all have had a great weekend this weekend. It's a little bit cold. We had some, a lot of snow and cold here in the Midwest. But let's just jump in right now. What I want to call this tonight is Swing Trader Sunday. Not to get a little too crazy, but basically we're going to take a look at... Um, some short and long ideas that you want to keep on your radar screen going into this week. And that's how we want to treat Sunday night setups. So uh, basically, what do I want to do? I want to give you a bunch of information that's going to narrow a universe of how you can look at potential ideas. Um, there are three components that, we, that I utilize to try to find ideas and potential setups for swing trades. Swing trades are trades that usually last somewhere between 20 and 45 days. That could be for just long or shorts using just the underlying outright, or you could use an option strategy. What are the three things that we use to kind of synthesize these ideas? Well, we take a look at price volatility. We take a look at the existence of a trend. How do we establish that? And we look at liquidity. In other words, you want to have a certain number of shares trading in the underlying because then you know you're going to have good price discovery. Um, some of the requirements that we have in those areas for price, price volatility, um, that's, we're going to utilize that for uh, figuring out strategic approaches, whether we're doing just straight out stock uh, or we're going to use an option strategy or a combination of both. Um, existence of trend, we're going to use uh, technical indicators just to just give us an idea, perspective on trend, and then liquidity. You have to have at least a million uh, shares trading on, uh, on average every day. Uh, if we're going to look at the underlying. First name that we want to take a look at tonight is Baker Hughes, ticker symbol BHI. It closed on Friday at 66.39. Now the volatility in this particular underlying is cheap. Its rank is at the 52-week low, basically at around 11% as far as rank. You look at how I establish rank, I look at the implied volatility over the last 52 weeks. I look at the high, if it was at 100%, that would be the highest it's been in the last 52 weeks. And if it's down at one, that would be the lowest. This is at 11%. That's telling us that in Baker Hughes right now, there is not a huge heightened expectation of big violent moves in the underlying. Now, taking a look at the more technical side, looking at charts and um, some of the technical studies that you could use, I use some simple ones. The first one is going to be simple moving averages. I use the 20, the 50, and the 200 day. The 20 day moving average helps me define trend and in Baker Hughes, the 20 day is at 64.20. And with the stock trading at 66, we got that 20 day moving average trending to the upside and it has for the last month and a half. We have the 50 day moving average. I call that the institutional moving average. If you ever watch Tech Talk, we do that at 3.30 Eastern time every day. You'll, you can get more information on that. But 50 day moving average is that institutional support level and it's coming in at 59 on Baker Hughes and the stock's trading at 66. So we have the 20 day, the 50 day, and the stock. Now the stock's above that. We have a stock that's trending to the upside and with some relative strength. Uh, you can take a look at the RSI over a six month period and you're gonna see that it's running at a 67. That's telling us that the trend has some momentum and strength to the upside. The options, the options are telling us that the between now and January expiration, in other words, for the next three weeks, the stock could move either up or down uh, about $4.50. So that you could see it at as high as 70 and some change, or its uh, bottom end of the range is around 62. So it's some interesting action there. It looks like the, this is a bullish trending stock. We're gonna watch the area of 64 and 59. If the stock pulls back in this area, challenges anywhere in that area, that could be a, a good area to either look at purchasing some stock because um, the trend has been bullish, or you could do an in the money call spread. Um, strike selection, what I mean by in the money, if you look at the stock price and you look at the first strike in the money, that's the uh, option you'd buy. And you could sell an out of the money option. Let's say at that uh, $70 mark, because that's where the top end of the range is being priced in right now. Now all of this can change with change in uh, of price of the underlying or the environment. So we'll watch oil and so forth uh, to keep an eye on that. The next name I want to look at is Cummings, ticker symbol CMI. Uh, stock went out at 135.35. The implied volatility rank is really cheap. Uh, what is that telling you folks? 
the bottom line is, is they're not expecting huge violent moves. The implied volatility rank is at 28%. That's telling you it's on the lower end of the range. The moving averages come in uh, 140 on the 20 day. So it's actually above where the stock is trading. So the trend is a little bit negative right now in the short term, but the 50 day moving average comes in at 133. So I wanna see it. This is actually a very in uh, interesting area institutions like to buy when it comes through that 20 day it looks to challenge that 50 day and then rebounds that could be a good area where the bigger money could be potentially looking at cummings at 133 so uh we're going to watch this one very closely this one would be again a candidate for buying stock or an in the money call spread with the bullish trend still intact the rsi is at 63 so there is strength to the current trend even though that it is pulled back and is now through the 20 day moving average the strength is still in the overall bullishness. If it breaks the 50-day moving average, then I would say that there could be a potential midterm shift in the trend. I wouldn't look for bullish activity then. Um, the options are pricing in the potential for this stock to move at right around uh, $8.95, either up or down. So you're basically looking at a range of somewhere between 142, 143 on the upside before you're gonna start hitting resistance. And on the downside, you're going to see it uh, right around that 127 range um, where you could see that the, the overall shift of change, you know, where you could have a big shift. Um, as a matter of fact, the 200 day moving average comes in at 120. Um, the next stock I want to take a look at, and this is the third of the four that I want to look at tonight, is DEER, ticker symbol DE. Stock went out at 101.76. Volatility is very inexpensive, so there's not a heightened expectation of big violent moves either up or down. The 20 day moving average is coming in at 100. So with the stock at 101, we got the 20 day moving average or trending moving average and we're moving to the upside. We have the 50 day moving average coming in at 93. So we have the stock firmly above that institutional moving average. Any pullback here below 100, that could be an opportunity for institutions. That could be an opportunity for us to maybe nibble on getting on some long side. And 84 is the 200 day long term moving average. Now, taking a look at the relative strength, it's at 63. So this trend is still has momentum and strength behind it. And the options are pricing in between now and January expiration, which is roughly around almost three and a half weeks, uh, the ability for the stock to move either up or down about $5. So you have 106 is the top end of the range right now, and you have uh, 95, 96 on the bottom end of the range. The last stock we wanna take a look at is Helm Helmrich and Payne ticker symbol HP. Stock went out at 78.70 on Friday. Right now, you're looking at um, an IV, an implied volatility rank of 4.5%. That's really cheap. It's really low. Not a heightened expectation of big violent moves, but you always have to stay on your toes. The 20 day moving average on this one is at 76. So again, the stock is above that 20 day. We have a trending stock to the upside. Uh, 70 is the 50 day moving average. So institutions are feeling good about this. Any challenge of 76, we're gonna watch that very closely. That's why I'm probably gonna be looking at a, uh, some sort of option strategy because I don't wanna put as much capital as buying the stock outright. Um, and the 200 day moving average comes in at 64. Relative strength at 61. So the trend is firmly in place and the options are pricing in the potential for this stock to move either up or down about six bucks. So you're looking at a range of between 72 and right around $84. All right, folks, that is it for Sunday Night Setups. Join me tomorrow morning at 8.30 Eastern time for the Overnight Action Report. Till then, do some homework, take a look at these ideas, and join us here at marketstream.live. Take care and have a great rest of the evening.